here, but I'm blessed. Didn't know it take me past my destiny. You're behind me with the rest. Cause I'm a mess. No more you. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Cheryl with iStyle My Style. And today's video is going to be a New Year's reset, a little clean and decorate my kitchen for winter. So if you need some cleaning motivation, make sure you keep watching. All right, so I'm gonna be using this barkeeper's friend to clean around the sink as well as a toothbrush. A toothbrush will get into the crevices and corners if you have a sink that is top mounted like mine. I really hope to replace this sink sometime this year. So, but for now, this is what we're gonna be using to clean the sink. around better not that step down come a little bit closer yeah yeah come a little bit closer yeah so all my ladies who got a brother that doesn't treat them right put your finger right in his face and tell that man bye bye i'm too fly i'm too fly bye bye Selfish, you get mad every time you lose. You can't take me with you. I'm scared you're gonna blow your fuse. Come a little bit closer, yeah. I can really start over, yeah. In the back of my mind, there's someone waiting on me. You're just wasting my time because you're scared and lonely. Finally got some closure. Yeah, I can finally start over. Yeah. So on my Next, we're going in with some Dawn Power Wash on these blinds. Because we cook in the kitchen, there's oil and grease that gets in the air and it settles on the blinds. So we're going to use this because, yeah, it gets rid of grease and hopefully it'll make our job easier. So I'm gonna go back over the sink and I'm gonna use this stainless steel cleaner by Wyman and give it a little shine.
the sink now is all nice and shiny clean. All right, next I'm going to go in with this little sink rack. I picked this up from Amazon and it's perfect for holding your dishes. If you hand wash them um, or if you want to just lay dishes there until you get ready to load the dishwasher. I will leave this linked in my Amazon storefront in case you are interested. Anything that I mentioned came from Amazon. I do get a small commission. So if you do purchase, thank you so much in advance, but there will be a link for my Amazon storefront down in the description box below. All right, so I did change out my paper towel holder. I removed it from the counter and I put it here on the sink uh, or on the door underneath my sink. This towel holder came from Amazon. If you're interested, I will leave it linked below, but it does free up a little of my countertop space. So I love having it here. Now we're going to switch gears and I am going to clean these light fixtures. I'm tongue tied, twisted around your finger like a piece of string. I'm winded, chasing after your ghost is real exhausting. I'm in love, but I don't think it's what I thought it was supposed to be. Love story, no cuts and no glory. How did I get so deep? Thinking of you, I don't usually get like are the hardest thing to keep clean so if you guys have any suggestions I like take them down every three months wash them really good in hot soapy water and put them back up but in between time I just wipe them down and then wipe them dry but if you guys have any other suggestions please leave them in the description box or in the comment section down below because they are really a pain to clean We are switching gears once again and now I am going to clean and wipe down all of my kitchen, my lower kitchen cabinets.
you don't know what you're doing And the walls are closing in Just remember where we're going And remember where we've been switch gears and bring out some items to decorate the kitchen for winter. So I brought out my all clad towels that I picked up a few years ago from Williams and Sonoma. I also have these set of towels that I'm going to use under the sink. Um, there's four of them, so I'll probably use these on the range as well. Gonna bring out our Williams Sonoma pot holder. This um, utensil holder from Williams and Sonoma. You guys know I am trying to bring more silver in this year. And then I have this little marble. I guess you could be a charcuterie board or a cutting board. It came from Ross. It's $5.99. So I'm gonna try to use this in the sink area because this little thing has seen better days. I've cleaned it, wiped it down, but the dish soap and everything is just making the paint come off. So I think I'm gonna try to use this piece here, but we're gonna start in this area decorating first. All right, so I wanna change out the artwork that we put in here for fall. So this is how it looked for fall. I did not change it for Christmas, but I am going to change it for winter. And I don't know about you guys, but these little tabs like hurt my fingers. So I am going to use a butter knife to open this up to change out our artwork. And what we're going to do is use this print here. Um, I found it on, I think I got it from Etsy and I just printed it out at Walgreens using a discount code because you guys know I love to save money. So this frame has a mat and I don't know how this is going to look with a mat. Let's just stick it in here and yeah, you can't see the flower, so I'm going to take the mat out and we're just going to stick this back in here, put the mat back in, and put this back in. 
this print is a little bit bigger than our frame, so we're gonna make it work. Tabs back down. There's a tab over here somewhere. Yeah. All right, so this is how our print is looking. I think it'll be perfect for winter. But now I'm debating, do I paint this silver? I don't know. Let's see how it looks in the space. All right, so this is the area where I want to use it. And I think I need to cut the lights off. All right, so it's a little dark, but it has a glare, but you can see where I am going. I want to hide this cord over here. So I think that looks okay. And I want to put some type of greenery over here as well. All right, so I want to make a floral arrangement to go in this space and I have a few options to use. You guys know that I told you for winter, I like to bring in our metallics white and these crystal pieces to represent ice. So I want to see which one would look best in this space to create a floral arrangement. Because I have these two glass pieces here, I don't think that will work. So this one will contrast against our black piece of artwork. And then this one is metallic, but it's similar in size to these two, well, this piece in particular, and I don't want to move that. So I think we are going to use this one to make a floral arrangement. All right, so I have this greenery pick here. Um, I don't want to cut it, so I'm gonna try to see if we can just stick it down in here to make our arrangement. I'm gonna have to bend this up a little bit more. Try to make it in a circle so that it will fit down in the container. All right, so can you see that? So this is how it's looking. I'm going to spray out the branches. And there's like a little pine cone in here that I want to try to bring up to the top if we can. So this is how our DIY floral arrangement is looking for the area for winter. I like how it came out, so let's set it in place. So this little um, pot came from the Goodwill, it was $2.99. Looks like it originally came from Ross or some store like that. But I took the floral that was in it out and I used it to create something that I could use for my home. I like the vase, 
not so much the floral. So I think this looks absolutely perfect in this little vignette on this side of the kitchen. All right, so I'll put down a new drying mat and we have a new artwork and our DIY floral arrangement. And I love how this area has turned out. All right, so this is roughly the same size, although it's got these felt pieces on them, on this. Let's see how this will sit on here. And I'm just gonna use these two bottles. I'll probably change them out later on, but for now, we're gonna use that. I think it looks fine. This cord goes to my security system, so don't mind that. But other than that, I think that looks good. I don't like that this black is missing, so I will probably paint that, but not today. So I'm gonna switch out the utensil holder now. We're gonna use this one from William and Sonoma. need to get some stainless um, oil bottles we shall see how that turns out we'll save that for another day this area I like how it looks I don't think I'll change out anything there picked up from Target a few years ago, $5. So I think I'm gonna stick it in this pot and call it a day. And then we'll use it in one of our other vignettes. All right, we have one more piece. So I think I'm gonna to try to use this. And these, this greenery came from Walmart a few years ago. I'm just gonna plop it down in here like that. Spread it out. Give it a fuller look. And that's how it's looking. I like it, so let's go set it in its vignette. All right, because we have the stainless and crystal over here. I think this arrangement will look really nice in this. Oops. Put our lid back on our sugar. I think this looks nice. And yeah, love it. All right, during Black Friday, we decided to upgrade our appliances. And one of those upgrades was this espresso maker. It came from Walmart during Black Friday. I love the black and stainless. It pairs perfectly with the other appliances here in our kitchen. And I also have this one. I showed this one to you earlier this year as well. So love this, matches the range, the microwave. So now I need to put something in this space. All right, so I have this vase that I thrifted. It's, it was 
Originally, it came from Kirkland's and it was $13.99, so I thought this was a great deal. And I think they even still sell this face, but I'm gonna try to use this one to create our final arrangement. All right, so this is all of the winter greenery we have left. So we're going to make it work and we're gonna use this face. Stick it down in here. And then I'm gonna add in these pieces as well. Give it a little more depth. like how this looks and we'll set it in its spot. So I wanna to try to cover up this cord and I think this will be perfect. So love this area as well. All right, I decided to add in these twigs this twig branch from hobby lobby because it is winter to give it more of a winter feel in the space and this is how that is looking i added these white candles also from hobby lobby into our candle holders that we picked up from home goods i love how that looks now the last thing i want to change is let me go over on this side. So you guys know I love to change up the look of my chairs. And last year I put these little knockers or chair pulls on the back of my chairs from, these are from Timu. Um, but this year I think I wanna bring it, bring a more modern feel to the chairs. So I'm gonna use these pulls now these are designed to be put on with screws and I don't wanna screw anything into my chair. So we are just gonna use double-sided tape just like we did with those. All right, this is the only double-sided tape I have left. I'm gonna to have to order some more. Hopefully this will work. Can you see that? Let me turn the light back on. I try to use natural light, but it's a gloomy day outside, so it's not working so well. So I'm just gonna cut a piece of this double-sided tape, and I'm gonna cut it to the size, the back of our piece, and I'm gonna stick it on there. I don't want the double tight double sided tape to show so i'm just going to stick it in the areas that will stick to our chairs and then we'll peel it off and stick it on Let's hope it sticks to the chair. So I have to remove this one. And I want to do it gently. So I don't want to mess up my chairs. And then I'm going to take this one 
Well, I'm not gonna measure, <laughs> which I probably should, but I'm just gonna eyeball it and stick it on. And that's how it's going to look. Although, it's not quite centered. So, we'll have to center it up. And that's how it looks. Love it. All right, so now we'll just add the rest of them and our kitchen will be complete. Our winter refresh will be complete. In case you're wondering, these pools came from Amazon and this is what it says. I will leave these linked in my description box down below as well in case you may be interested. But this is the double-sided tape that came off of this one. So we'll put these back in this box and we'll put the rest of these on. Change of plans. I have run out of double-sided tape. So we just have the one on for now, but we'll get some more double-sided tape and put the rest of them on. But for now, let's look at our winter refresh. So this is how my kitchen refresh for winter has turned out. I absolutely love it. We still need to get these pools done, but once we get that done, our winter kitchen refresh will be complete. But I love how everything came out. It's, I just love a good reset in the kitchen at the beginning of the year. So if you guys have enjoyed today's video and it has inspired you, please make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, I would so appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell, become a member of the iStyle MyStyle family. I have lots of budget-friendly home decor decorating coming up for 2024 that you don't want to miss. I love decorating my home on a budget. I do that by thrifting, upcycling, buying things off season when they are on clearance to give my home a high-end luxe look for less. I call my style budget luxury. So if you have enjoyed what you've seen today and you have not yet become a member of the family, 
I would so appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell, and become a member of the iStyle MyStyle family. And with that, my friends, let's take one last look, and I hope to see you in the next one.